Hey operators, Physics Science here, and today I'm bringing you guys a very special commentary for a very special day. Today is the 4th of July, and I decided to do a commentary different from what I normally do. Today I'm going to be talking about, in my knowledge and philosophical commentary section, about the history of fireworks and the 4th of July, why fireworks have become ubiquitous to 4th of July celebrations. And the gameplay that I've got going on for you guys in the background is also uh, a change of things. Normally I play Call of Duty, but today I decided to play some Assassin's Creed 3. And uh, for those of you guys that don't know, Assassin's Creed 3 came out in 2012, and in it you play as Connor, pictured there, pictured in the gameplay. You play as Connor, who was a Native American, and he wants to defend his homeland from the British, so he joins forces with the uh, Colonial Patriots. And so I thought that there's nothing more patriotic on the 4th of July than the American Revolution. So that's the gameplay I've got going on for you guys. And uh, yeah, so my topic of commentary today is the 4th of July and fireworks. Why are fireworks America's favorite pastime during 4th of July celebrations? And to answer that, uh, I kind of had to do some reading online. But really, there's no simple, clear, definite answer. I guess in the most simplest terms... Uh, why fire? Why we celebrate uh, Independence Day by lighting fireworks? And the, mo the simplest way to answer that is because John Adams wanted us to. Um, before the Declaration of Independence was even signed, uh, he envisioned fireworks as part of the festivities. And in my readings to gather more information on this topic, I came across that he actually wrote a letter to his wife Abigail Adams on July 3rd, 1776. And in it, he wrote that the occasion of the signing of the Declaration of Independence should be celebrated with, quote, illuminations from one end of this continent to the other. And uh, what's interesting is that the first uh, commemorative Independence Day fireworks celebration was set off on July 4th, 1777, about one year after the American Revolutionary War started. And what's fascinating about that is that 1777, that's six years before the end of the war, which was in 1783. And they, they, uh, the Patriots didn't even know if their country was going to last, if they were even going to make it. So they decided to go on with it anyway, and that, that's just something I found that was, fasc that was fascinating. Now, fireworks have been around in the world for millennia. They were invented by the Chinese although some historians may uh, suggest that India invented the first fireworks, but for all we know, it was pretty much the Chinese that they invented modern fireworks, and they were actually built as military weapons, and it wasn't until the Italians in the West popularized them for Western nations. And uh, really, in another way to explain why um, fireworks have such significance in our culture I, I took the uh, I took an approach of symbolically representing fireworks to me and I don't know how correct this is but I think that fireworks um, they symbolize cannons and gunfire that were so used during the both revolutionary wars and the war of 1812 which I guess you could say is the second war for independence because during the war of 1812 one of the most Notable instances was the Battle of Baltimore, where the British, uh, where British ships shelled um, Fort McHenry for hours throughout the night, and which is actually where uh, the the song of the our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner, was born. Uh, Patrick Henry was uh, no, no, not Patrick Henry. Did I just say that? No, it was uh, Francis Scott Key. Why did I just say Patrick Henry? Okay, my apologies. Francis Scott Key was on board a British vessel when he was um, observing the shelling of Fort McHenry, and then he jotted he jotted down lyrics of what he saw, and that's I guess where we get um, some of the lyrics like um, rockets red glare or bombs bursting, and I guess really that that could also um, symbolize the. Uh, that could also symbolize fireworks uh, bursting in the air and rockets, red glare, stuff like that. So uh, that's just some really interesting stuff. And so yeah, I guess that's really um, a way to uh, describe or explain why fireworks are celebrated on Independence Day. There's no real simple answer. It's just a, 
It's just that um, fireworks have been uh, f have been around for uh, um, festivities for millennia, and it just so happens that the Americans use them all as well during the Fourth of July. So, yeah, I guess that's the real answer. So I hope you guys like this type of commentary. I certainly do. I'm certainly trying to add more commentaries to this uh, knowledge and philo philosophy section of my channel. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe, and have a happy 4th of July. But before we conclude, I also like to talk to you guys about some things I read online about uh, firework consumption in the U.S. Now this is in a study conducted by the American Pyrotechnic Association. Uh, I read about how many fireworks do Americans use on the 4th of July. And in their study, they said that Americans use about 175 million pounds of fireworks, which is equated to um, $662 million worth of fireworks. And in those 175 million pounds, 94 million pounds of black powder are in that. And when combusted, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know if you can hear my dog in the background, she's all squealing. But uh, when the 94 million pounds of black powder inside the fireworks are combusted, it equates to 125 terajoules of energy which is the equivalent of two Hiroshima bombs. So yeah, I think that's uh, quite fascinating just how much fireworks Americans use on the 4th of July on that day alone. So yeah, I hope you guys like this commentary. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. And uh, have a safe 4th of July. Stay frosty. Physics Science out.